Okay, good morning, guys. Yeah, so we're talking about 3,000 trees that are filling this part of the parking lot at Meyer, and we have picked out a really good one. So this is a smaller tree, but it is just perfect. Uh, John Martin, this has a straight top on it. It's got full leaves, and I'm getting ready to take it over. What is the next step when I pick out my tree and I'm ready to take it home? Well, you're going to bring it over here. Okay. Normally, we bring it over. <laughs> I insist. Cut. I want to show my guns this morning. All right. Okay. Now you're going to put it in this shaker. Okay, so I just stick it in there? Yeah. I can't see. All right. Is that it? Yeah, raise it okay, up. Okay, perfect. Now what? Now hang on. Hang on to it? Oh, okay. Oh. oh I got to hang on tight. <laughs> I now didn't see, expect that. See, this shakes all the dust, all the... Any, all the critters out? Yeah, anything that snakes, <laughs> birds, and whatever. Well, we don't but want that. But it fluffs it all out, and uh, now it's ready to put in your house. We give it a fresh cut. Okay. And then we put it in your car and... and uh, Let's see here. Let's take it here. You want to give me a fresh cut? Yeah, I can just lay it up here. Okay. This is my first time working at a tree lot. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. John Martin, why is that important before you take your tree home? Well, now it will drink water. If you don't trim them off, they're not going to suck water because the sap is grown over, is getting over the end of it. Ooh. And you never want to let the tree run out of water. When it runs out of water, it does. It will seal the bottom of it back up and it won't drink any more water. That makes sense. I'm so, going to have you hold on to this real quick because every time you buy a Christmas tree with you, what is the tradition here? Well, you buy a Christmas tree, you come over and pay for it, and then we ask you to put your name and your address, and we will send you a beautiful Christmas card. This is the Christmas card of this year. I got one myself in the mail. And why do you do this? We just show appreciation, and uh, we like to do it and let yeah. the people know how much we care about them. And, uh, you know, we've been here at Myers, and they're great for us and been great people to work with. And, yeah. Uh, it helps us, it helps everybody. You know, show a little tradition to them. John Martin, there are plenty of places for people to buy their live Christmas trees. Why is it important for them to support someone local? Well, I think it, it's, you're going to get a better quality tree to buy something from a mom and pop's tree mm -hmm. line. And they'll give you more attention, shake it out, trim it off, put it in your car, yep. and show them your appreciation. Well, this beauty is ready to be strapped to someone's uh, hood of the car and taken home for a beautiful Christmas, guys. John Martin is open every day um, until he sells out of Christmas trees. Last year, he sold out on the 15th. So maybe come and get your tree a little early. Yeah, I love I love the touch with the Christmas card. And I mean, you love to support yeah. local mom and pops. He's such a great guy. So I hope he's busy today and through the rest of the season, Alex. It is here. The Christmas season is upon us, Alex. Hey. Thank you. Still to come.